earnings season is heating up. So what are analysts expecting? And if earnings really do drive the market, then what could you expect from stock returns? Hi, I'm Liz Laprod, Senior Research Analyst, with today's advisor takeaway. We're going on our third week into the new year, and that means the third week into U.S. companies reporting on last quarter's earnings. As of last week, FactSet reported that the S&P 500 is expected to show a year-over-year decline in earnings of about negative 3.9%. Now, only a few companies have reported so far, but despite some big bank misses this morning, actual earnings have mostly come in above expectations. Now, this actually isn't really anything too new. Over the last decade or so, actual earnings have consistently come in above estimates as analysts started to become more conservative over time. However, the earnings growth rate has slowed over the last two quarters. So although conservative expectations might normally mean that we could avoid a yearly decline in the actual numbers, the slowing growth could still keep it down. Okay, so what? If the fourth quarter numbers come in low and we see a decline in earnings, what does this mean for the stock market? Well, I looked at earnings growth and stock market returns starting in 1953. So that covers about 10 recessions. And what I found was that the 12 months leading up to the start of a recession, both the S&P 500 and earnings have risen. Now, during the recession, on average, they both tend to decline. The following 12 months, though, 90% of the time, the S&P 500 was up double digits while earnings were still declining. In fact, it took about around a year and a half on average after the end of a recession before earnings typically turn positive. So what's my takeaway? Well, depending on where you are in the market cycle, negative earnings growth is not always synonymous with negative stock market returns. And that is it for me today. I will talk to you all next week.